All right, baby's asleep. You know what that means. It's time for a review. A couple of days ago, I received Fampi's eShine breast pump with the wearable collection cups. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We're back. So this pump has the same collection cups as the eJoy S2. Here you will see the power button, the lanyard loop, and the charger port. I'm not gonna lie, it seems like this pump has a million settings and modes. But that makes it super universal for different mamas who like different things. When you're ready, you'll start connecting the tube to the top of the collection cups like this. Make sure you push it all the way down. Before starting my pump, I'll go ahead and add my Kobu spray. And then once we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and let the pump just start out how it typically would and see how it goes. Suction is great, style is cute. I can't wait to get more familiar with this pump. I'm impressed. This is my afternoon pump. It's 1.30 p.m. I don't expect to get much, but we'll see. All right, so I just finished a 30-minute session, so let's see how much I got. We all love a good pour. All right, so I got a total of 7.5 ounces with that pump, which is pretty good for the middle of the day, especially seeing that we exclusively nurse, so I'm liking what I see. I love that you can still use the silicone collection cups from the eJoy S2 Fampi breast pump. It kind of gives a dual purpose, but overall this pump is great. This pump is the type that you can wear with a lanyard, so I do look forward to finding a company to purchase one from. Another thing that I really love is the fact that they put little cute messages. So when you get half point, it'll say a little cute message to you. Half point, I believe, is 15 minutes. It does another one, I believe, at 25 minutes, um, but super cute. I've never seen a breast pump do that before, so props to you, Fampi. 10 out of 10 recommend. Go get your Fampi eShine now.